Hi there, this is Jeanette for Whimsy Stamps. Today I am doing another video using the Mums Layered Flowers stamp set from Whimsy. The first video I did shared how to use this stamp set with inks and today I am using it with some white embossing and watercolor. I am going to use this little embossing buddy. It's an anti-static tool just to run it over my watercolor paper. And I'm using my Misty tool to stamp the flowers in Versamark. So I'm stamping a couple of them at a time and then I am going to sprinkle on some white embossing powder. Tap it all off. If you have any excess you can use a little paintbrush and just sort of brush it off carefully and then I'll use my heat gun just to melt that embossing powder until it melts and then dries. I know it's pretty hard to see white on white at the moment so now I am going to mask that first flower just using some masking tape and I will be stamping on the larger flower so there's two sizes of flowers and each flower has an outline and then sort of like a filler stamp. So right now I'm just using the outline ones. And you don't need to use a misty tool to do this. You could certainly do this with your regular mounting blocks. I just find it a little bit faster for me using this. I've just gotten the misty and I really like it. So this top one is masked and I will use the larger one to stamp beside it. And my camera went out of focus a couple of times. I apologize for that. I'm going to stamp the large one on the other side as well. And I will peel off that paper and then just sprinkle more embossing powder on those. So you just sort of go in stages. Um, sort of stamping where you can, masking where you can, and then heat embossing it, and then filling in the blank areas. So I continued with that. I stamped a few more um, flowers, but using the same technique. So now what I'm going to do, I have that nice white embossed line, and I'm using some Zig Clean marker brush tips. I have such a hard time with that name but the, the Zig Clean markers is what I'm using and I'm using two shades of blue. I had the numbers they ran across the screen there at the bottom and then I am taking a water tank brush and then just gently sort of brushing out that color so it's nicely blended and if you go out of the lines you can just remove the unwanted color with the paintbrush. I'm just going to fill it in a little bit more there. And you see that the embossing powder resists the watercolor. I'm going to fill in the insides of the flowers a little bit later but I'm going to go over to this other flower at the top and I'm working with some orangey red colors Again, I'm using two different markers, a darker one and a lighter one. And I like to work in different areas. I don't want any of the flowers that I'm working on to be sort of touching each other. I like them to dry in between so I don't get any um, ink sort of blending with one another. This card is going to be for my mother-in-law and she loves bright colors. So I'm going to be using a ton of different colors. Here I'm just coloring in the stems and I sort of sort of edited the video because you don't need to see me coloring every single flower so just before you saw I had the numbers that I used for the purple flowers and now I'm going in with some flowers that are sort of a yellowy orange color. Again it's the same technique. I lay down the darker color, sort of blend it with the lighter color and then use the water tank brush to sort of blend it all out. The 
the inside of the flowers is going to still be that sort of darker color. And now I am going to add the background. Since I didn't stamp any of the leaves that come with the set, I decided I wanted to have a little bit of green in the background so it looks like there's some foliage there. And so I'm just using this green zig marker and doing the same thing, except now I'm coloring outside the flower petals and just dragging the color, blending it and dragging it towards the center of my card. I love this technique on watercolor paper. I love that the embossing makes it so easy to color up the image quickly. You don't have to worry too much about going over the lines. So it makes the whole process a lot quicker. I'm concentrating the darker green towards the edge of the card, making sure it blends out to almost white before it comes to the middle. So I'm almost finished now with the, the background. I just have this little corner to do. Take the time to blend everything out. While it's still wet, it's much easier. Now I'm going to put the sentiment. This comes with the set. At first I thought I was going to stamp two, but then I thought I just wanted that larger sentiment. And I decided to emboss it with some nice gold embossing powder. So I'm just using that anti-static tool once again. I'm going to stamp that with the Versamark and then I'll sprinkle on the embossing powder. Tap the excess back into the jar and I just use a paintbrush to make sure any stray pieces of powder are brushed off before I use my heat tool. I'm using a standard A2 card base. I'm just making it with some Nina cardstock here and it will be adhered to the card base. Putting a ton of adhesive because it is a little bit warped from heating it. And my card is done. Thank you so much for watching. A full list of links and supplies can be found below this video on YouTube.